56 right now. It's official race fans. We've been saying it all morning long. It's Indy 500 weekend. Thousands of people from across the world make their way to Speedway for the greatest spectacle in racing. And that's where we're finding CBS 4's Melissa Crash. She's live at the track this morning. Melissa, I know it's early, but can you feel the excitement building? Oh yes, I can feel it. The town, it is buzzing here at the track already. People are walking around. It's wonderful. Now, as we know here in Indianapolis, to be here on race weekend is unlike anything you will ever experience. Here's why. Order up. It's time to kick off the world's largest single day sporting event. For the first time in three years, the Indianapolis 500 is back at full capacity on Sunday. The track expecting somewhere between 325 to 350,000 people. Even when it wasn't full capacity, I was full capacity. They were lined up out the door. They had their radios on. My parking lot was full of people listening to the race. Racing is a lifestyle for Speedway restaurant owners like Elizabeth Glover. She's in the middle of the excitement at Charlie Brown's Pancake and Steakhouse. I just talked to a guy from France. I honestly am in awe of my customers. Two thirds of the people that come here aren't race fans, they're big event fans, and this is the big event they do every year. For IMS President Doug Bowles, it's time to show the world what Speedway has to offer. From final practices to a pit stop competition, massive concerts featuring everyone from Rick Springfield to DJ Martin Garrix. The third largest parade in the country happens here the day before the Indy 500, and then obviously there are all kinds of parties in neighborhoods, there's tons of camping just behind me. And believe it or not, the track is also home to the busiest emergency room in the country from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on race day. Somebody from every single state in the country is here. We have almost 25 countries that actually are here. It's a special weekend every year that Bowles calls one of those bucket list events. And this is the place to be. Yep, that's right. This is definitely the place to be. We'll get this. Speedway, Indiana, the town of roughly 12,000 people or so. It turns into the second largest city in the state on race day. So it just goes to show what an incredible event this really is. So for Countdown to Indy this morning, I'm Melissa Crash, CBS 4 News.